Solo Cubs. Yeah. Yo, what's up with the sneakerheads? Now, sneakerheads, everything in between. It's your boy, Trey D. At Trey D's case, coming to you live from the game room slash the air hockey table. And yes, today I am doing my part two on sneaker YouTubers that I watch. Now, I watch a lot of sneaker YouTube. I also watch just like a bunch of other YouTubes, like on Trucks, um, Final Cut Pro, a lot of random stuff, man, I watch. But I wanted to do this second part just because I already did... The sneaker YouTubers that I watch that are like over 100K, but I wanted to do the ones that are under 50K, and then basically my slept on YouTubers, man. Now, some of the sneaker YouTubers that I'm about to mention, y'all do know, but some of them y'all don't know, and those are the ones I'm more excited about just because I feel like, you know, they put in a lot of hard work as well. Let's go ahead and get into this, man. If you are not already subscribed to the Kicks Committee, man, definitely hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that notification bell for your boy as well if you like what you see. Click that thumbs up for your boy as well. Now, let's get into this. These are in no particular order, and I'm not gonna hold y'all too long, man, because I think that last video ran a little bit long, but we're gonna start off with Q the Queen. Definitely shouts out to Q the Queen, man. And if y'all are not familiar with her, she is one of the leading sneakerhead YouTubers. Um, met her at SneakerCon, very cool chick, man. Y'all definitely go and watch her channel, man. Definitely got some good stuff on there and always good convo, man. Shouts out to Q the Queen, man. I know y'all have heard of her. Next up, I already know y'all know T Ward, man. Now, I was watching T Ward when he was with Mike Rich, like on Mike Rich's channel. And so I think he's right around 19,000 subscribers or something around there, man. But he's come a ways, man. And so definitely shouts out to T Ward. T Ward, I'm sure everybody already knows, man. If y'all have not seen him on his original channel, then you probably have seen him on Mike Rich's channel as well, man. So, shouts out to T. Ward. Another ATL person, man. Shumanati, man. I have been watching Shumanati before all of the drama with him and, and Damn D. I was watching Shumanati, man. So, don't think I'm just, like, jumping on the wave or anything like that, man. And I know he's been in the game for a while now. He always got some cool unboxings, man. This, I don't know how this dude gets, like, so many unboxings. But... He doing it, man. So y'all definitely go check him out as well, man. Now, let's come around to Texas. We got the Soul Mates. Now, y'all know I kick it with Marcus all the time, man. The Soul Mates are 100. Marcus and I bounce ideas off of each other. He probably gives me more ideas than I give him, so it's kind of one-sided, but I still feel like I give him like a few, maybe a few ideas. I might give him like this many where he gives me this many ideas anyway man shouts out to the soulmates definitely appreciate all the love and support man that they give to me man and so i try to throw it back their way all right next we're gonna take it up north to new york man where we got mr orchard beach man now i don't know how this dude travels so much but this dude is living life right here man so it's sneakers and traveling with this guy <laughs> man, Mr. Orchard Beach is really cool, man. He shouted me out in one of his videos like a long, long time ago, man. And so ever since then, man, uh, I think I was watching him before all of that. But even that, man, you know, it just, it just, we just got cool after that. And so shouts out to Mr. Orchard Beach. Um, he always got the sneaker rotations. Um, he's always picking up these, man, he loves phones. So he's always picking up phone posits. And this dude goes to like the Dominican. It's like, it seems like every other weekend. I don't know how he's doing it from New York to the Dominican. I, I feel like every other weekend, man. Shouts out to Mr. Orchard Beach. All right, now the next two is not actually just like sneaker YouTubers. They're actually a podcast, man. So Sneak This Podcast, shouts out to the Sneak This Podcast. I was on their show a couple of times. Now they got Greg and George, man. Them dudes are actually really good, humble dudes. and anything that's going on man they're talking about it they know so much about shoes them dudes have some knowledge about sneakers they talk a lot about a little bit of everything you know what i'm saying so definitely go check them out man shouts out to the sneak this podcast man i appreciate y'all having me on as well okay now next up let's go to another one who actually does live so retro young man now retro young actually does the behind the scenes man and it's a really good live as well man so if you want to know 
anything that's going on in the YouTube sneaker YouTube community, man, definitely check them out, man, because they go pretty hard, man. And that's that's some entertainment for you right there, man. Now them dudes talk about anything, man. If you want the raw, definitely go check them out, man. And you got wrong reviews on there as well, man. I know uh Davey, uh David McFly is on there. So shouts out to David McFly, shouts out to Ron Reviews 2.0, man. These are the people that you want to go to if you want to know like the underbelly of what's going on in the sneaker community, man. And I I, I can't lie, man. I, I do listen to it, man, because it's entertainment, man. I don't get involved in all of the drama or anything like that, but I definitely listen to it, man. And so shouts out to them dudes, man. Super duper. Uh, Retro Young, David McFly, Ron Reviews 2.0. Uh, even Kevin. So if you if you a little squeamish, you might not want to check out their channels, man. But if you like the raw, then you definitely want to check out that channel, man. Alright, now another one that y'all will probably know, Sniper Jones. Now I just recently started watching Sniper Jones and it's like he's come up, like he's in everybody's videos, man. I actually like Sniper Jones because he is one of the ones that who is not afraid to go into the mall with his camera and talk with his camera. Like why people are watching and so that's something i have a problem with man because i feel funny talking to a camera walking through the mall because people are looking at you like why is this dude talking to his camera it's weird energy is always high man so if y'all don't already know definitely check out sniper jones man i think he is on his way to maybe 15k and so but the boy is up and coming man and so he's doing his thing man another one is jumper man chris i actually watch jumper man chris as well man he does a lot of good reviews um his on feet they are really good as well man and i just recently heard that he got his name jumper man uh because of his dad so i guess when he was younger his dad never wanted to buy him any jordans and his dad called them jumper man and so that's how he got the name Jumper Man Chris. I'm not I'm not telling the whole story, man. Y'all can go to his channel and check it out and y'all can get the whole story, man. But Jumper Man Chris, definitely a good dude as well, man. I know family man, um, got the kids, the wife, and all of that, man. So and still has time to make videos. Next up, we got the Vintage World. Now I know the Vintage is all the way out somewhere in like Germany right now, but I think he's supposed to be coming back to Texas. And so I'm sure we'll link up at that point, man. But I definitely watch the Vintage World as well. Um, and man, I know it's hard to get sneakers out there in Germany and so, but at the same time, they get stuff that we don't get in the US as well. So if y'all are not already familiar with the Vintage World, man, definitely go check him out. Sneakerhead Pat Reviews, man. He's been uh, doing reviews, I don't know how long now, man, but I definitely watch him. I know he's out in Cali now. Definitely shouts out to him, man. I talk to him through the comments and stuff like that. He watches my videos. I watch his videos. And a lot of this, y'all, is we watch each other's videos. We support each other. And so there's no reason why you should hold back information from somebody else that's trying to do something that you're doing as well, man. There's enough for everybody to watch. I know it kind of seems like it's saturated. The market is saturated with uh, sneaker YouTubers, man. But everybody has like their own way of doing something and so but we all support each other man and i think that's why it works out man um so definitely shouts out to everybody that i listed i know there are more there are definitely more i couldn't just keep this list of 10 but there are definitely more people that i watch uh, so if if i didn't put your name in here definitely don't feel left out or anything like that man don't don't feel left out or anything and, but this was my part two, man. I hope y'all enjoyed this, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Like I said, man, if you are not already subscribed to the Kicks Committee, definitely hit that subscribe button for your boy, man. Your boy is about to get out of here right now, man. And with all of that being said, how I look. <laughs>